over a span of two weeks. Corruption, it is insane. We are tired, we can't take it anymore. Puerto Ricans forced the hand of their governor to resign. After nearly 900 pages of an offensive group chat he and a number of public officials were part of came to light. The chats included a number of misogynistic and homophobic messages. But Puerto Ricans have maintained pressure as the question of who will replace departing Governor Ricardo Rosseo hangs. Justice Secretary Wanda Vasquez, set to succeed Rosseo, doesn't want the job. She tweeted Sunday, quote, I reiterate, I have no interest in occupying the position of governor. It is a constitutional opinion. I hope that the governor identifies and submits a candidate for the position of Secretary of State before August 2nd, and I have told him so. The Secretary of State is legally next in the line of succession before Vasquez, but he resigned July 13th over the group chat scandal. Roseo's resignation takes effect August 2nd at 5 p.m. So what happens next? According to the island's constitution, the Secretary of Treasury, the Secretary of Education, and the Secretary of Labor and Human Resources are the next picks in line. This is Francisco Pérez Alicia. He's the Secretary of Treasury. Roseo appointed him July 1st. Next is Julia Kelleher, the now former Secretary of Education. She's caught up in another government scandal. The FBI arrested her and one other Puerto Rican official July 7th over an alleged corruption probe. Which brings us to the Secretary of Labor and Human Resources, Briseda Torres Reyes. Roseo appointed her in May. San Juan Mayor Carmen Yulín Cruz is another person to keep in mind. Roseo referred to her as the person who could be shot and it'd be a favor. So far, she's tweeted saying Justice Vasquez is, quote, part of the corruption scheme and retweeted a call for Puerto Ricans to continue protesting. As for the Puerto Rican people, there are some who think this upheaval goes further than Roseo or whomever comes next in line. El problema de Puerto Rico y el problema de la corrupción no es quien esté en el poder en, en cuatro años. Es un, pro, es un problema estructural, es un problema de estructura política, porque Puerto Rico no tiene poderes, Puerto Rico no tiene libertades y en una colonia no hay democracia.